Hey cousins, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Christy Pips. Listen, I apologize. I actually uploaded Money Market Mondays for the past two weeks, but I did not make them public because I was in a rush, because I was traveling or getting back from traveling. So, yeah, my bad. But we're here now, right? Um, as always, we're going to go ahead and mark up ACAD. If you guys are here, you're interested. So let's get into it. Now, listen, listen, if you guys follow me on TradingView and you hopped in yesterday's trade, we were stopped out and I'm going to show you guys what happened. Um, but first, let's go ahead and look at Forex Factory. Yup, it's noon and we're doing this video a little bit later in the day because there's nothing we can do right now. And I'll show you why in just a second. But, you know, we start out with our Forex Factory. Take a look at the charts. We have on the, what is this, the last six hours, this is what the charts are looking like. So ACAD was moving down, AU is moving up, EURU up, USD CAD down. And then over the past 24 hours, we have a push, big push up with some downward momentum, big push up, big push up. And then for the last 48 hours, I like to look at these because it gives us overall momentum information on a very broad spectrum, okay? Now, as far as AK goes, I'm looking at Wednesday as the first red folder. We don't really have any pressing news for AUD or CAD prior to that. And then this is the Bank of Canada making an announcement. Um, so why traders care? Just remember to always click the little folder to read why traders care. Um, and then we don't have any additional news for odd or cad that are red folders this week so let's go over to the charts and i'll show you guys what happened okay so here's bay and what we want to do is look at our daily time frame i'm going to zoom out a little bit so that you can see the whole thing here and from the daily, you know, the first thing that we do is our handy dandy trend line, right? And then from here, the other trend line, because we actually got a break of this trend line for the uptrend and we're in that downward momentum. This is where the concern came in. Um, we did our markups here, right? This was the area that I looked at this morning because it looks like we might get a good retracement here. And let's zoom in a little bit. And let's look at this downtrend line. So with this fib, this was the area we didn't get a touch, but it did drop off like crazy. So this is not an active fib because we have not closed above this price point. So if we close above 93790, and remember, there's a point in front of there first, so 0 0.93790. If we get a close above there, then that means that this FIB is active. If we do not get a close above that price point, it's not active, so we will still be looking for price to move down. So this is where I have the alert set, okay? Now, we're going to go over to the four hour. So let's clear this and go over to the four. Now on the four hour, I'm gonna show you guys just what I was looking at. It's a lot of information, so bear with me today. So trend line, right? We start with those. And then we did the little fibs because I wanted to see everything that was happening. I like to see the lead up. I like to read the story that the chart gives me before, you know, getting to the point, right? Because I want to see, I want to see the consistency. I want to see the strength, right? And for this downtrend, we were very, very, very strong, right? But on the trend line, we got a break here, a break right here, okay? So we're looking for a change in direction, okay? So that's when we pulled out this fib. As soon as we got this high, we used this low to this high as 
the dropping point for the second point on our trend line, okay? Now, because I wasn't looking for a big retracement because we had so much momentum, even overall on a daily for weeks, um, this wasn't a big deal. I was not in this. Um, but here is our other trend line. This is the low right here. Okay. This is the origin of the low. So that's where we drop our trend line. Now we got a break yesterday right after we got in the trade. Broke our trend line, kind of broke my heart, but you know, emotions have no place in trading. So we sucked it up and now we're having a conversation like big girls and boys, right? So we're gonna pull out this fib on this down trend. We got an actual touch for this one. So then we did this, no touch, right? Big pushes down. So I jumped all the way over here to have a look to see what's going on now. We got a touch going down, but we got that break of the trend line. So what I want to do is we, this was the zone that I was looking at yesterday. So let me actually zoom in for you guys. You know, I love my Chrissy Pip zones right here. We'll zoom in here. There we go. So this zone right here, this little area is what I was looking at to get in. Okay. We did that. And it hurt my heart later. Um, so what I want to show you, though, is looking at, let's turn all of this off, but I want to turn on this trend line, okay? And then what we're going to do is go back to our daily time frame information and look at this trend line. So as far as retracements go, what I'm thinking is that we might see a push up to our daily trend line and then a continuation back down. So I'm actually not going to be in trades on this push up for a second until I get confirmation that that's what the market wants to do, okay? But these are the two trend lines. The yellow trend line is from our four hour time frame. The red trend line is from our daily time frame. So this is the information that I'm using outside of the information that we receive from FIBS, okay? And outside of any candle patterns and things like that. Um, so I am looking, if I find a good setup after a confirmation that lets us know that we want to continue to the upside, then I will drop that on TradingView. As you know, you should be following me on TradingView so that you can get the most up-to-date information um, and stay on the right side of the market with me. Um, aside from that, we're going to wrap up this video here because this is not a video that's going to give us an entry. Hang out or look out for updated information on TradingView, okay? Now, as always, I hope you guys are having an awesome and productive day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.